You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a face that I had here last year. I have Pastor Marcos Zephyr. Did I do it okay? Uh, Zephyr. Zephyr. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Now, your church's name? It's uh, Brockton Portuguese Seventh Day Adventist Church. And you're right on Warren Ave. Exactly. Right that, across the street from Vincente. From Vincente. That's what everybody that. knows now. It's, yes. They've done a major improvement to the neighborhood for sure. Indeed. Yes. And health centers over there. Very active church. Let me tell you something. Whenever I go by on a weekend, you have attendance. Yes, uh, by God's grace, we have a very active church. Um, every service, we almost have a full house. On the on Sabbath, obviously, it's um, overflowing every Sabbath. But yeah, God has blessed us in such a way, and we have a very active uh, church. In, in this community, we have so many members involved in different areas uh, serving our, our community. Mm -hmm. So yeah, our church is very active. And another way to serve the community on Saturday, August 5th, uh -huh. 3 o'clock, you folks are doing a substance use disorder awareness walk. Exactly. Big signs right in front of the church. Big sign okay. is there. I know you also promoted the Brockton Knox Down Diabetes recently yes. uh, to let people know about it. What's the purpose of this walk? To, to make people more aware? Uh huh. Yeah, we understand. Um, the Bible tells us clearly that uh, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we must take care of our, of our bodies. And as a church, we understand that we have um, a responsibility before the community to make the community aware of those substances that are um, dangerous uh, mm -hmm. to our health. And um, so we, we do that um, as a way of, of trying to wake our awareness up. Uh, Brockton, uh, Boston, uh, we, I've heard recently that um, criminality in, this, in these cities is uh, going up and up. And it's now obviously a matter of concern for the authorities in all levels. And I think that's a way of uh, helping to reduce um, the violence in our city. So as a church, we understand that we, we must bring our gospel to the community uh, through uh, activities like that, uh, because that's, that's a way of, of serving God. I think people are getting tired of hearing about religion. They want to see some religion. And, um, and we want to show them what, what is God's purpose for all of us in terms of living a better life. So this is not just for members of the church. This is opened up to the whole community to make it more aware. You're located right in downtown Brockton. You see the same things we see right here. We have the homeless shelter here. There's a lot of addiction in Brockton. The opioid crisis now is mm. rampant. Brockton yes. has been a community, in my opinion, that's been on the forefront of trying to help people. Our, our mayor, Mayor Carpenter, mm -hmm. has made it, people very much aware of it. Uh, when he came into office, people, uh, they started putting the, the Narcan to deal with the overdoses because on a, every fire truck, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I mean, no secret, we're right down here. We end up with needles in the parking lot on a regular basis, which is, which is sad. And I always think that, you know, somebody needs to give people a hand up, not necessarily a hand out. Exactly, exactly. We, we have found several times needles on our steps in front of our church. And um, sometimes people come to ask for money and we prefer to provide them with food and with uh, clothing and because giving them money, we understand that we would just make things worse because they would buy either drugs or alcohol or, or, or things like that. We never know, but we, we prefer not to go um, th this way. In other words, we, we, we prefer to be sure that we are uh, indeed helping them and not making their lives even worse by um, uh, financing their bad habits, giving them money sometimes. So for this event, you're looking for people to come out and walk? 
Exactly. Last year we did that and we were surprised uh, by the response uh, we got from the city. It was something. And, um, and we even had some people uh, that join us uh, as we made the walk. Okay. And, uh, and obviously it's, it's open to all the community. Everybody is more than welcome to join us on that uh, manifestation. And um, yes, it's open to whoever wants to, to join us and to uh, raise their voices as an alert. So it'll start at the church. And what's the, what's the route for the walk? Where will you go? We go uh, f through uh, Warren Avenue. Mm -hmm. um, I'm now trying to remember the, the, the street we went. West, the, would it be West Elm? The, no, it was it? far, far. Belmont? Uh, or further than that? Further than Belmont. Uh, it was on the next satellite we had down there on... on Father Kenny Way after Belmont? There, or, or there might even be all the way up to Lawrence Street or, or something Yeah, it like was that. way down there. Okay. Uh, I, I forgot the name Forest of that. Forest Ave maybe? Maybe not that I think far. it was. No, no, I think oh, it was forest. Okay. It was forest. So, yes. And then you loop back around. And then we came back, back up Main Street. Main Street to, to uh, here. Uh, to Cable. Yeah, okay. Yes. Back to the church. Then back to the church. Nice big square. Exactly. Okay. And um, the sun will definitely shine upon you. Oh, yes. Because of what you're trying to do. Is, is, is there like a group within the church, like a social action committee? Is it, is it your initiative? How is it, how is it structured? Yeah, we, we do have a group in our church that is devoted to, to the well-being of, of the members and of the community. So as you said, recently we had the, the diabetes uh, program uh, in our church and open to the public and we, we had a very good response from, from the community. And so we, we have a, a committee that works on that specifically. And this time of, year, of the year, we join them in making uh, their efforts uh, broadly known to the community. And that's what we are going to do uh, via this uh, uh, walk that we're going to do on August 5th. Perfect. So all people have to do is show up. Show up, exactly. Show up. Well, we're glad to help you. Thank you very it, much. And uh, wish you success and good luck always. Thank you very much. God bless, and I appreciate um, you opening the doors for us to come over here and uh, make this uh, known to all the community. Anytime. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.